Hello, welcome to my studio. This is Barry from Barry J. And I just wanted to talk to you today about a class that I'm teaching that I'm really excited about for the Janine Oliver Creative Network called Pattern Play, Creating Your Own Professional Patterns in Photoshop with Ease. And I um, wanted to talk to you about why would I create patterns in Photoshop? And why would I suggest that you create patterns in Photoshop? I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say, I do my work all on Illustrator. And absolutely, Illustrator is a great program to do um, art in and to um, create pattern repeats. And um, it's great because you can blow the art up to any size that you want and you can change the colors very easily. But what you can't do is you can't necessarily have a very hand done look. And you certainly can't take a painting and have it come out looking really like a painting when you put it into Illustrator. So you'll want to use Photoshop. And that's what I do and it's what I've always done. I also use Illustrator for geometrics and for things that I want very, very tight, clean lines on. So it's a perfectly great program to do with that and Photoshop is another way to get things done and have it look a little bit more hand done. So I wanna to talk to you about a couple ways that will do that. Now, with a lot of my work, I will just use um, a graphics tablet and I'll use the tools in Photoshop. There's a pen tool, there's a brush tool, there's pencil tools, there's all sorts of different ways to create art within Photoshop. So here's my pen from my graphics tablet and I would just draw on that and I would create art and put that into Photoshop and then I would show you how to put make that put into repeat. And the other thing that you can do, of course, is take traditional art and make that into repeats as well. And you'll, I'll teach you how to make a composition with several different pieces of art um, and then how to put that into repeat. And the really fun, exciting thing is I'm going to show you how to take a painting that has already been composed, it's already laid out. Um, so these are individual pieces that you can manipulate and put wherever you want. If I say I've got this finished composition and I want to now put make this into a pattern repeat, I want to put this onto products, there might be some problems with that because of course you've got a flower that comes off the edge so we need to double it, we need to cover it up somehow, we need to finish the edge of this leaf, um, do lots of things like that. And then, you know, we're going to need to remove the background as well because what we're going to want to do is we're going to just want to take all these leaves and flowers and possibly overlap it with something else. But if you have a background, you're going to have a background laying on top of something else. So you need to get rid of the background to start. And the other thing with um, traditional art and art in Photoshop in general is, of course, in Illustrator, you could change the colors with ease, like I told you. But in Photoshop, you have to do something called indexing. Now, if you're going to be working with a fabric company, they do screen printing. Most of them don't do digital printing. In digital printing, you can use however many colors that you want. But with screen printing, you have to have, a, a, some people, some companies will limit you to five screens. I can go up to 16 screens in some of my work. Um, obviously, I don't want every piece in a line to have 16 colors, but I can have 16 colors in some pieces. So I'm going to teach you how to index the colors, reduce them down to, to the number that you need them to be at, and then how to change the colors within Photoshop. So it's super exciting. And you can take this art and you can put it on any product. So if you're somebody that wants to see your art on lots of different kinds of products, this is going to be a really fun class to learn how to do all those different things. I'm really excited, especially for traditional artists, to take this class. So just click on the link below and sign up, and I look forward to seeing you in class.